What is up everyone? Welcome to this week's video. Today I am just introducing a new project that we will be starting on. This will be another custom PC and hopefully you guys enjoy. I have provided a couple of rendered images here. I don't want to give too much away so I've left a lot of it out. I've left it blank, left it without colour. But um, I just wanted to show you some ideas of where a couple of the um, components will be placed and I won't necessarily be using what you see in these renders but this will give everyone a general idea and myself a general idea of the layout that I can achieve within this system. Here we have the first panel. I have put some masking tape down. Um, I've actually put two layers on top of each other and the reason for this is I've actually ran out of the normal tape that I use so this should do the job. Um, the reason for laying this is just so if we have an accidental slip, hopefully we don't scratch anywhere else and everything should be alright. Now the reason I'm using a Dremel instead of my jigsaw is because my jigsaw is actually packed away. Um, we're actually moving very soon so it's pretty much the only option I had at this moment but as you can see in the video we've gone through a couple of discs. The first disc was a metal disc and I realised that I'd ran out so we um, yeah I had to use some other discs, some thin cut discs which were not really made for metal so they wore out pretty fast. So after all of this was cut out we eventually got the jigsaw out, went through all the boxes, got it out for the rest of the panels. Now behind this is was a bit of mesh and I'm just trying to clean this out so I can install an acrylic window and this will be done on three of the four panels. Right now what I'm doing is I've got a grinding stone out. I have limited tools to um, use so I've got the grinding stone out just trying to smooth out them edges, get rid of any bumps and everything and remove a bit more of that uh, metal mesh. So what I'm doing is I'm trying to flip it up so I can get my Dremel wheel on there and then just cut that mesh out like so. Now I'm getting some steel wool and I just want to go around the edges to, to sort of polish it off, smooth it off and make sure that it's got a nice feel to it when you run your finger along it. It doesn't matter that some of the paint's stripped, obviously this will be all freshly painted and should look brand new. Alright, now for the piece of wood. We're going to cut out this MDF wood, I believe it is 6mm thick. We just need a piece for the back of one of our panels so we can install our motherboard tray and get everything looking nice and neat. And fits perfect. Now there still is some further sanding to do. I am a bit of a perfectionist. I like to get everything looking good. So I, I can't obviously I can't show everything in the video, but I've, I will be sanding that further, and I'll be also painting everything. So here's what I've done today. I've cut out those three panels, made a new bottom sheet metal. I've um, sanded all the edges so it's nice and smooth and. That bottom section will house the power supplies, two pumps and two radiators and you will see soon that we have another section on top which will house all the computer components, the motherboard, motherboard tray and I will be running with two reservoirs in this build. The idea is to go with a couple of through panel fittings so I can get a nice clean look um, and most of the piping will be going down beside the motherboard tray and a couple tubes in front. At the moment that's the only paper that you can see on that level as I haven't cut out the other stages yet. Here's a few of the final photos guys and I hope you enjoy. Please stay tuned for further updates and I can't wait to show you more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Please hit the like button, subscribe and I'll definitely see you next time. Thanks guys.
Sparta!